Hi everyone, welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today I'm going to be bringing you along as we decorate my TV stand in my living room. And I have some new pieces that I'm going to bring out and add to this stand as well as bringing out some of my decor that I had before Easter. So I'm excited to bring you along for the process and share with you some of my decorating ideas as we are in this season between holidays. So we're just putting out some of my everyday neutral farmhouse decor. So I hope that you enjoy today's video and let's get started decorating. To start, I am bringing out one of my new favorite pieces that I've picked up recently. I got this whenever we were on our vacation to Tennessee over spring break and I got this very large dough bowl for $10 and I'm going to try to mimic the look that I have on top of my mantle which I decorated in my last video but this is a different size dough bowl and it's bigger so I'm going to just put back in here what I had on top of my TV stand before Easter. I had this green room piece and then I'm taking my other new garland that I got and I'm going to put it in this dough bowl as well. This garland is very easy to play around with and get it to lay how you want to. I love how wispy it is and I'm very glad that I decided to pick these up. I'm putting this little sign back in front of this boxed greenery and I had it sitting in front of there before but now I'm just going to play around with it in this greenery until I get it to sit like I want it to and then I'm going to start decorating each side of the dough bowl and I'm going to put this picture frame. This is a picture of me and my husband from our engagement session on one side and then I'm going to play around with these candlesticks on the other side. On either side of the dough bowl, I'm going back in with the same things that I had up here before. Just these um, antique candlesticks with these greenery pieces on top. Now moving on to the shelves, I'm just going in with my Radun planters on my top shelf like I had on here before. And on the second shelf, if you remember whenever I was working on my basket wall in my laundry room, I'd purchased this because I wanted to try to incorporate it on that wall, but it ended up not working out because it didn't have a flat back to be able to make it stay on the wall. So I just held on to it and I was like, I will try to find somewhere to put it. So whenever I was thinking of how I wanted to decorate this place, I said, well, I can just use it as a tray. So that is what I'm doing. I like to put things on trays. So it just is not like random items are just sitting somewhere. They're kind of like contained, like they have a purpose to be where they are. So I'm just going in with some of my candlesticks. That taller galvanized looking one was from Pottery Barn originally, but I found it at the antique store. This other one from Hobby Lobby with a thrifted ball on top and then I'm going in with my cast iron looking one that I purchased from This Will Do Nicely in Tennessee which is also where I got these beads so I'm just playing around with styling that now. I'm also going to place this picture of me and Rowdy that we took at his newborn session and I'm going to put it beside this tray. Now moving on to the bottom, I'm going to take another um, thing that's kind of like a tray. It's actually like a little shelf thing that you can hang on the wall, but I'm using it as the purpose of a tray. And I'm going to just sit a few things on it. Thank you. 
keeping in theme with candle holders i'm going to take these two that i got from hobby lobby and i had these dialed down here before but i'm going to put those on this shelf too Now I'm going to do something that I've wanted to do over here for a while. I really wanted something to go on top of my blanket ladder, but I didn't really want to add another blanket. So I'm going to take this small little wreath or candle ring that I have, and I'm just going to tie some jute twine on it and hang it from my ladder. I saw a picture similar to this on Pinterest that was kind of my inspiration. So I'm going to see if I can make it work. I'm really glad that I decided to try this. I think it just gives it a little pop of greenery that this corner needed. Now I'm just showing you how it turned out once I got everything decorated. I really am happy that I tried to put this dough bowl up here and see what it looks like. I think it really turned out cute and um, like I shared whenever I decorated my mantle I know there's a lot of greenery going on in this place too but I just think it gives it texture and things and I think whenever you decorate with very neutral colors like I like to that it is important to add texture and different elements so I hope that you like how it turned out too and that you enjoy decorating this place with me so I'm just going to give you a few close-ups of each area This video is going up on Monday instead of Sunday because I wanted to enjoy Mother's Day with my family. So I hope that you all had a very blessed Mother's Day. Alright guys, well I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and decorating my TV stand today. If you're new, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe. Um, I love to share decorating videos on my channel as well as cleaning motivation, organization, um, things such as that. And as we are approaching this summer season, I'm sure we will have lots more projects and things around the house to share as well. So like I said, if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the very next one. Bye!